Hello everybody, welcome to Renexel.com. In this video, I am going to show how to configure Squid Proxy User Authentication using NCSA Auth. The purpose of this configuration is used to allow Squid user can access internet with their own login credential. This method will help in the production environment and also the user can able to works based on their own squid proxy rule let go for the installation first install the squid and uh, http package press enter after installation of squid and the httpd now start the squid service service squid start press enter now check the status of squid here the visible hostname error will be shown don't worry i am going to rectify this error just add your hostname into this squid configuration file type visible host name enter your host name after enter your visible host name now save and quit this configuration file now start the service now check the status now it will be working fine again start the httpd service service httpd start press enter now your HTTP service is running. Don't worry about this warning. Next, go for check the status of HTTPD. Now it's running in this PID. After that, I am going to create user for a login credential of Squid Proxy. Type user add. I am going to create user 5 next i am going to create a file under etc squid password this is the password file for that user press enter now create the credential for that squid proxy user ht password hyphen c etc squid password and enter the username now enter the password for this user now squid proxy user is created the password will be stored in this location now i am going to give the permission others can read only this password file press enter after that I'm going to create one text file in etc squid block dot txt press enter here enter the domains to block here I'm going to block facebook.com and youtube.com now after enter the domain save and quit this configuration file if you want to add more domains means you can add more domain here now save and quit this configuration file next open the squid configuration file in etc squid squid dot corner press enter now i'm going to create acl rule here come to insert your own acl rule now first i am going to create ncsa authentication rule for first to locate the ncsa authentication location for that you should type rpm and type squid grep ls grep ncsa underscore auth yeah this is the ncsa auth 
content location now add the rule here after adding this rule now enter the ACL rule ACL N C S A you can give any name here and type proxy underscore or untype required now type http access dna dna enter the username ncsa after done this settings now this is the configuration level of uh, authentication after configuration of uh, authentication rule i entered the acl rule to block particular website for a specific user now save and quit this configuration file now restart the service squid service service squid restart press enter now the script service is restarted now i am going to test this configuration from my client machine this is my client machine this ip is 7.208 open the browser and go to the settings reference advanced network settings here enter your manual proxy configuration this is my script proxy server and is listening port now enter the domain to search google.com press enter and authentication pop-up is open enter the username which was created early and enter the password click ok and authentication is working and also the site is working I check another blocked sites I, I have created two blocked sites Facebook and YouTube type facebook.com press enter here you can see proxy server is refusing again check youtube.com press enter here you can see access denied now this is a method to configure squid proxy server authentication using ncsa auth thank you for watching thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel linux help for further tutorial visit linuxhelp.com any queries mail us to support at linuxhelp.com